Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another Bobby's Backyard Auto Works. Today, behind me, we got a 2000 Toyota RAV4 with 95K miles on it. Yes, this thing is super clean. Not on the outside, but inside, no ribs, no nothing. Um, I'll show you why they totaled it out. It's nothing big. Let's go check it out. First things first, hood clear is coming off. So I'm going to power wash that. I'm going to order some paint. The roof also got clear coat peeling also not bad I mean this thing's 24 years old 24 there you are. I'll show you what what totaled it out a little bit on the hood right there there we go pushed in a little bit of the crash bar whatever you want to call it I'm gonna pull that out get a new one from the junkyard or eBay gotta see pretty sure they're not that expensive and then this little bar I'm just gonna push back put the clip back in on the bumper we're good to go on the condenser the AC is cold I am NOT gonna touch it so I'm gonna bend that back when I bend everything else back radiator nothing wrong with the radiator I'm leaving that as is all I gotta do is get this pull it just slightly down all good engine compartment not too bad shouldn't be with 95,000 but everything's been done dealer serviced timing belt was done at 64 it's got 95 so it's got about another 30k before the timing belt needs to be done but at least everything was done and I saw it on the Carfax done at the dealer let's put this down <clears throat> Uh, crack light here put in with tape not a problem BAM brand new one so we'll install that too I think this might be a one video thing maybe two I'm gonna refinish the wheels it's got brand new tires brands making all four matching uh, Kumho and here's the interior it's dirty I don't think they ever really cleaned it they just drove it lightly like I said it's only got 95,000 miles look at this interior it's so cool clean it's still perfect like I said it's 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 dirty we got our work cut out this is my wife's flip right here she actually went on uh, line I looked for some cars that's cool cup holder I told her about this one she says yep I like it keep your eye on it she told me what she wanted to pay I got it a little less and BAM look at that oh my scanner even the book it's from Santa Barbara so it's got the original book it's got an updated pioneer radio but it's got a CD down here I don't know I might look for the OG radio I don't know might put a Bluetooth radio in it we'll see look at the driver's seat it's got one or two little holes one right there one right there but I, I can't wait to clean this thing up the paint is pretty good I can take that off not a problem color sand it the only bad thing is on the side it's got a lot I don't know if it's gonna come out it's got a lot of little door dings Wherever they park, they didn't like them or something because it looks like the same car. So what I'm going to try to do is take off the door panel. Should be quite easy. I don't know. We'll see. I might just leave them, buff it out, see what it looks like. Here's the back tire. Like I said, it's brand new. I'm going to redo the wheels. Got the paint for that already. It's got a brand new spare. Good. Date code is like maybe five years old. Here are the mats. I'm gonna clean those up. Like I said, this this thing is filthy, filthy. It's got spider webs. I mean, <laughs> yeah, whoever had it, I don't know. I guess they just drove it once in a while. I like the opening on this. This thing is huge opening. This is a big barn door. Oh no, not barn door. This wouldn't be considered barn door. This is just a slide door or open door barn doors are two my bad 
Got one little dinger there. That sucks. I'm going to see if I can get in there and push that one out at least. But yeah, look at the gunk on the seat. That'll be gone soon. Back, perfect. I unrolled this. This had never been unrolled. I unrolled it for the first time. It was stuffed in here. Yep, that was cool. Yeah, man, this thing is sweet. Got the original key and a valet key. Look at that. I couldn't find this lever when I needed to put gas. It was so built up with all this junk. It was hiding under there. It's even got express down and up driver window, electric locks. Let's check out that dash. There you go. 95 303. No lights on the dash. Starts right up. That's because of the seat belt and the doors open. Or all of them are. So, yeah, but once I pull the seat belt, there you go. And then I have the brake on, that'll turn off, but no lights. The thing is quiet. Let me put you out there. That is quiet. Heck yeah. So let's get to work. Me and the wife are going to start off with the interior and clean it up. You ready? Yes. All right.
All right, got the mats all done as you saw in the time lapse. Not bad, not bad at all. Shoot. And over here, my wife Kimberly, she already vacuumed out all this. This is looking good. Might not even have to shampoo it, but I might just do it real quick, just for the heck of it. So it matches everything else. I cleaned out the the jams with the pressure washer. There was so much dirt on this bottom part of the door. Wow, they never cleaned it. So we got all that out. Cleaned up nice. This is just preliminary. We're still gonna uh, use the uh, steamer and everything like that. But yeah, remember all that trash right there? Cleaned up. So she's wiping everything down right now. I'm gonna go get the steamer. Actually, I'm gonna start doing the carpets real quick and then I'll get the steamer. She's grooving over there. We did some of the carpet. I'm gonna do this again right now. I just got the new tool. It makes your shop vac into a, an extractor. I bought one, I didn't like it. This suction, holy moly. I'm gonna see if I can uh, film this and so you can see what it what it extracts. It This is this thing works, especially if, if you have a, a really good shop vac. It works really good. So I'll try to film this because it's still a little bit more dirt in there. So scrub that I'm gonna spray this down and then uh, yeah let's, uh, you can see this new tool in action I'll have the link down below is like 16 bucks 18 bucks delivered
Hell yeah. This tool works awesome. Wow. Heck yeah. yeah. All right, and there you have it. Crappy lighting. I had a new GoPro today. Uh, my wife got us a new um, GoPro 11. And she paid pretty good money for a new one. New. They gave us a return product that was used. It was totally used. You could tell. So we're going to send that back. Sucks. Should get another one tomorrow. But yeah, man, that tool is a beast on these seats, man. Like I said, I'm going to leave a link on that. That is, that tool is cool. Clean now. Smells fresh in here. I think next week I'm going to do the wheels. Maybe tomorrow and then buff it out and then buy the paint. I might paint it first and then buff it out. I think that's the best thing. Here's the rear. You saw how dirty it was, how dusty. Heck yeah. All the jams are done. Wipe down. Heck yeah, man. You wanted it like a brand new car? Well, I almost got it there. Pretty dang close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, steering wheel came out good. This seat, man, came out nice. Still a little damp, but that's all right. All right, that's gonna be it for the interior. And probably for this video. And we're back, it is another day here. We got that new uh, GoPro 11 today. So hopefully the quality is different and better than the last clip. Last clip, I said it might be the last video. Nah, it's a nice day today. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna refinish the wheels and do the front brakes and rotors. Let's check out that interior again, man. I just can't get over how nice it is. Came out nice, clean. All right, get on that brakes and wheels. All right, we got the wheel off. Got the new rotor. Got the driver's side rotor and pads out. Pads did need replacing. I don't know how good that comes out. Let's go to the right here. Here are the new ones for comparison. The rotor is super thin. Yeah, thin that is. I mean, the new one's not that much thicker, but compare them all right so uh, let's put on the driver side rotor and then do the passenger side all right brake job is complete passenger side driver side all new pads and rotors now let's get painting on those wheels all right we got the wheels in the backyard me and the wife prepared them we saw this little thing on tiktok putting cards around so you don't have to tape it or nothing we'll try it out see how it works got the center caps uh, scuffed got the two wheels scuffed so let's get the painting <laughs>
All right, so we got the wheels back on. Wow, look at that. Looks brand new. That came out nice. Look at that. Bam. Come around. Heck yeah. Changes the whole car. Wow. Heck yeah. All right. I think that's going to end this video. The next one, uh, there's the new uh, rotors. On the next one, we'll uh, pull everything out, sand the hood, the roof, prep it, paint it, buff it. That'll be the next video. All right. So until next time. And that's going to end this video of Bobby's Backyard on the 2000 RAV4. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing right down the corner. And if you have, thank you for the support. Please like, share, and comment down below. Really helps the channel out. Until next time, talk to you guys later.